I grew up in the fourth generation series of airplanes. I grew up in the CF-18 and in the F-16, and I flew Eurofighter Typhoon as a test pilot. We measured all those airplanes. We have, really, until this point in time, in our generational steps of airplanes, we measure the airplanes in, in terms of kinematics. How fast did they go? How high did they go? How much G did they pull? How good were they in terms of flying characteristics when they got slow? We thought of, in terms of dogfights, think um, Top Gun in that kind of mentality. All of those airplanes um, were very, very maneuverable when we flew them in the airshow arena. I flew the CF-18 as an airshow pilot and that airplane is dramatically capable, incredibly maneuverable in an airshow configuration. But you don't go to war like that. To go to war, it generally requires external fuel tanks to go long distances. It requires the bombs and the missiles to do your mission, whether you're air-to-air -air, uh, exclusive, which would mean only missiles loaded on the airplane, but still hanging on the outside of the airplane, or if you're going to drop bombs, it would mean some, the bombs that you intend to drop and likely some combination of missiles in the case of the CF-18. All of that suspension equipment, by that I mean it's suspended from the outside of the airplane, fuel tanks, bombs, missiles, slows the airplane down, makes it less maneuverable than those airshow airplanes that wowed us all on the ground. The difference when you load everything inside of the airplane as is in the case of the F-22 and the F-35, those fifth generation airplanes, is that there is no penalty for drag for fuel because it's internal to the airplane. There is no penalty for bombs or missiles because they are loaded in the internal weapons base of the airplane. Now, so now you have a fifth generation airplane that can fly to the maximum capability of the air, airframe itself, just like you would see if you chose to do an air show with it, it is just as fast, just as maneuverable, with everything loaded going to war as it would be if you watched it at, a, at an air show. And that's dramatically different than those fourth generation airplanes, which were slowed down and made less maneuverable with more restrictive limitations on what they could do when they were loaded with fuel, bombs, and missiles. That's the kinematic difference between fourth generation and fifth generation.